Last week, I saw a tweet from Justin Worldly that said, prayer is not about sending requests into the sky. It's about allowing God to make us more like Jesus. When I read this while scrolling through Twitter one evening, I, it made me sit up immediately and think. He said that prayer is not about sending requests into the sky. But why then does it so often feel like that? I don't know about you, but I have many requests that I regularly bring to God in prayer. It seems like routine to start the day by bringing my requests, new and old, to God in prayer. Surely that can't be wrong. After all, it says in Philippians 4 that we should not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Of course, it's right to bring our requests to God. We do, after all, have a God, a good father who wants to give good gifts to his children. We do, after all, have a God who is invested in our lives and cares for us. We do, after all, have a God who's willing to sacrifice everything to help us, even when we were far off. And we do, after all, believe that prayer is a powerful agent for change. So what does the Archbishop mean by this? What does he mean when he says that prayer is not about sending our requests into the sky? Well, firstly, he means that the act of prayer isn't an, as, as impersonal as simply lobbing our requests almost aimlessly into the sky in the hope that one or two of them might be heard and responded to. No, when we pray, we are praying to the God who listens to us. We are praying to the God who knows us. We are praying to the God who knows our needs even before we utter them. In this way, prayer is intimate. It is personal. It's done from a place of relationship, not from a place of plucky optimism. Secondly, when Justin Welby says prayer is not about sending requests into the sky, it's about allowing God to make us more like Jesus. He's also telling us something else is happening when we pray to God. When we bring and when we bring our requests to him. Well, when we pray, we are becoming more like Jesus. Ultimately, the act of prayer is also an act of trust. When we pray, when we present our requests to God, we are entrusting him with them. No one has ever had a more trusting relationship with God than Jesus did. Jesus, Jesus gives us the perfect image of trust between man and God. Where that relationship of trust is unhindered by sin or unblinded by the deception of the enemy. The simple act of praying is a powerful thing because it reinstates the trust between us and God which has been broken by our sin and so by it we become more like Christ. Christ said famously in a prayer that he said to God not my will but yours in the full trust and full submission in who he was praying to. When we take our requests to God, when we entrust them to him, we do the same. Lastly, when Justin Wel Welby says prayer is not about sending requests into the sky, it's about allowing God to make us more like Jesus. I think he's also referring to what happens when we dwell in God's presence. When we spend time in prayer, when we enter into God's presence, we inevitably begin to change. When we open the door to God by trusting him in prayer, we also open the door to him to change us. As we pray, we learn to trust. And as we trust, we begin to change. As we pray, we learn to trust. And as we trust, we begin to change. So prayer isn't about lobbing our requests into the sky. Prayer is about much, much more than that. It's about the trust that comes from our intimacy with God. And it's about the change that inevitably comes when we spend time with him. As Justin Welby rightly says, prayer is not about sending requests into the sky. It's about allowing God to make us more like Jesus.